Good evening and thanks for joining us. Today was day two of Farm Fest and candidates vying for Amy Klobuchar's seat in the U.S. Senate made one final stop before the primary less than a week away. Aaron Stubbe takes us there. We need people representing our state that aren't there to fight with each other and throw barbs, but are there to fight for Minnesota farm families. That is why I went to Washington and that is what I do every single day. Wednesday was day two of Farm Fest in Morgan, with more lawmakers and candidates making appearances at one of the final stops before Tuesday's primary election. The morning saw a panel featuring seven candidates running for Amy Klobuchar's seat in the U.S. Senate. The panel gave candidates one final chance to speak directly to voters and to one another before the majority see their campaign come to an end on Tuesday. I have appeared here today not only to challenge Klobuchar, author of many farm bills, but to bring new ideas. I don't bring any fancy expertise or, or education to, to politics. The only thing that I'm running on is that I won't sell you out. The Farm Bill is seen as the end-all, be-all. This is what's going to save, be the saving grace instead of uh, what that tells me is that the government is dictating to you what, what you can and can't do on your land. I would fight for their freedom. They need to be free from the tax burden and the regulations of the federal government who are not here on our soil. The panel covered a variety of topics, from the Farm Bill to immigrant workers to conservation regulations, and candidates stayed to meet with voters themselves after the panel. There are a total of five Democrats and eight Republicans on the primary ballot on Tuesday, and only two will remain to go head-to-head -head in November. In Morgan, Aaron Stuvey, KUYC News Now.